Daniel, I got to tell you, there are lots of shirtless Daniel scenes in here. Now, you started with that iconic shot of you coming out of the water at Casino Royale, right? Woo. Now, here in, in this film, though, we got some scenes here. Very nice. So would you say that this is like a nice bookend here for your stint with the franchise? Are you giving fans a parting gift, if you will? <laughs> Am I making you blush, Daniel? Just so much, it's ridiculous. I, I, I can't, I, I don't know what to say. I'm just, I don't know how to answer You still question. got it, man, that you're looking amazing. <laughs> you're very, that, I'm, that's so very nice of you. But it, I, I'm, I'm very, quite embarrassed now and can't look you in the face. <laughs> Daniel, come on now. You know you got it, man. No, you're so nice. <laughs> He's not going to say it himself, but we can just gush and, and just tell listen, him all about it. <laughs> we most definitely Whereas will. I hope the movie. I hope the movie, and it's not just me getting my shirt off. It's not, as a whole works for the fans. But, you know, Quite I was in Jamaica. I was taking a shower. Yeah, you exactly. Oh my gosh, that, what did yeah, you do? It's so what great. Do you do? I met your new double O. She's a disarming young woman. I get why you shot him. Everyone tries at least once. Daniel, look, it may be your last time as Bond, but you are going to forever live in film history as taking on this iconic, iconic role. How excited are you to say eventually to your kids and reminisce with them? Like, hey, yeah, your old man did that part. I don't think they'll really care that much, quite frankly. Oh, come <laughs> on now, no, Daniel, I don't be, so. no, no, they'll no. They'll be so concerned about other things in life, I hope. <laughs> they won't have to be concerned about that, yeah. You can imagine why I've come back to play. Listen, I'm I'm very proud of what we've done. I'm I'm so you know so lucky to have been sort of had this this opportunity for the past 16 years. And you know what, what happens in the future, it just feels like I'm going to. It's going to take me 15 years to unpick all this to figure out what what just happened because yeah, it really does. I mean, as much as you know. Sometimes it was a slog. It's gone like that. It's just, it's, you know, I, I, I'm, I remember flying down the Thames being announced as James Bond like it was yesterday. Oh my gosh. Well, you have served this role so, so well, Daniel. Congratulations, sir. Thank and with Anna, here you are carrying on the 007 code name forward. That is, of course, no spoiler there. But what does that mean to you, especially as a woman and as a woman of color? It's something that I've had to really take my time to think about because I, I come from a working class background, Jamaican background. Me and my family have had conversations over the years of, of how we're going to put our mark on the world and, and what our children are going to feel and relish from, you know, in, in the legacy that we hopefully produce for them. Even being cast in a Bond movie isn't something that was in my sphere. You know, I'm a manifester and I have like kind of tried to manifest a lot in my career and this just phew, past me I didn't even realize. The world's moved on, Commander Bond. You were double O. Two years. So stay in your lane. You get in my way. I will put a bullet in your knee. The one that works. I thought you two would get along. So it was nice to be taken by surprise and not have to like really push hard like I have done the last 10 years to even get in the room, I was really grateful to be introduced to Barbara Broccoli by a play I did in London. It was all kind of like, synchronicity was really very much happening around the whole thing. Um, so so now, uh, yeah, Nomi came about. It just feels, it feels wonderful, but I haven't really got the words. I'm still yeah. trying to figure it out. Maybe I'll, in a couple of years, when I'm just on a random other set somewhere, I'll be like, God, that happened. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I don't know. And I think it's OK to not know. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes you should just process slowly and allow yourself to, yeah, to gather your thoughts and, and, and stay present. So I'm just staying present to enjoy the moment with these guys and hmm. celebrating everything that it is. I, I like that style. I like your, your speed to it all. But I think you're going to know very well that you more than deserve a space in that room. And you have made your mark when fans start seeing this film because Thank you. you do an extraordinary job. Hey, Daniel, I know you're saying goodbye to this role, but we are so pumped to say hello to you again in Knives Out 2. It is not a donut hole, but a smaller donut with its own hole. And our donut 
It's not a hole at all. Mm. All star cast coming at us again. What was it like shooting all over Greece? And then what what exactly can we expect with this? Uh, I can't tell you, but um, it's uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be very different, and yeah, just uh, a wonderful, wonderful thing to shoot. Yeah. The name's Bond. James Bond. How would you say the role has changed your life? This role of portraying James Bond. It's so impossible to sort of kind of quantify it and sort of I don't know put put a kind of an explanation on it. I've changed immeasurably since I began this in my professional life and in my personal life. Clearly, hopefully, I have a little bit in my personal life over 15 years. <laughs> I try to, I so. I try to um, you know, um, self self examine a little bit, but um, it's a uh, it's given me a a confidence that I didn't have when I started off. This confidence to sort of try and make the best of what you have and make the best movies we can. That's all I've ever tried to do with these uh, these films. I've always said, you know, every time we've started thinking about them, every time we started trying to get a, a new one off the ground, I said, can we get the best? Can we just get the best? Like Lashana, like Leia, like Rami, Ben and, and Rafe and Naomi. It's just like, we have a beautiful, beautiful bunch of people, of a a actors and some of the best crew in the world. And that's all I ever, ever wanted out of this. 